Hey guys, it's Jalen and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, basically I'm going to be showing you guys how I do this like sleek high puff slash bun. This is really a bun. I had it as a puff at first and then I changed it to a bun. So I'll show you guys how to do both ways. But first of all, I ignore this because this has been in my head for like a week and I was about to redo it. And I was like, I guess I could film like how I do it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today with like edges and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I use and basically just how I do it. So um, let's start with everything that you need to do this style. So one of the things that I use is Eco Styler Gel, obviously. Um, this is the Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil one. I love this one. I also use this as well, Edge Booster. This is just a little thicker, so it holds uh, my hair up more than just Eco because if I just use this, my hair would last like a day. But I put this on top of it and it makes it last even longer. I also use this Cream of Nature um, Pure Honey Shrinkage Defense. Um, I use this like on the puff just to define the curls. I also use a hard brush as well as a soft brush. I sometimes use this, sometimes I don't, but it's just a paddle brush to define my curls as well as just um, brush up my hair. 24 hour edge tamer for my edges as well as an edge brush. You'll need a spray bottle, bottle? You'll need a spray bottle with water in it. And then you're gonna need like a big headband, not a pink one, I would prefer to use a black one. I have the black one in my head, so I gotta show y'all this one, but. Just a big headband. You can get these at Walmart, like $3 a pack. It comes with like 10 of them. Um, so yeah, just a bigger headband like this and then a hair tie if you wanna do like the bun kind of look. And then yeah, that should be all. So let me just take this out first and then I'll get back to y'all. Okay y'all, so I took that out. So now my hair is just up and very much ishy. But um, basically from here, um, when I'm working on hair that like if I'm redoing the style, I would prefer to do this style on freshly washed hair, but um, we don't always get what we want. So when I have to do it on hair that I've done before, I have to use a spray bottle. So from here, I'm just gonna spray all around the edge of my hair just to get it wet so that I can move it and stuff. I spray it kind of all over, so on the top and like around here. Okay, so once you've got your hair pretty wet and a little less um, stiff, you're gonna go in with your, um, whoa, I look crazy. You're gonna go in with your Eco Style and just put this all around the edge of your hair. I just take a decent amount and just put it all over my hair. Like this. Again, you're gonna use a very generous amount of this to hold your hair up. Okay, so once you've done that a decent amount, you're gonna take your hard brush, your hard bristle brush. What did I just say? You're gonna take your hard bristle brush and you're going to just brush all this hair up because you want it nice and sleek. So just take that. And I make sure to brush a lot, like very high up in the back so that I can get a higher bun. That helps me like get it higher up on my head, but it's really personal preference. Sometimes this is where I use my paddle brush, especially when I'm trying to do a high style. I use my paddle brush to brush um, through my hair and detangle it a bit in the back so that it can not be all nappy and like create lumps and stuff. So really just to get that slicker look. So this is hard to do when my hair isn't freshly washed, but I just kind of take it and go along and do that. And then after that, Take that hard one and then do the same thing. It's really just a, a pattern until I just feel like I've done it enough. Okay, 
Okay, so once you've done that for a while, this is where you're gonna use your edge booster. A lot of people stop when they use the Eco Style, but for my hair texture, to so that it can stay longer, I gotta use like something a little thicker, a little, a little stronger hold. So again, you're gonna take a pretty generous amount of this stuff and put it all over your head just like you did that Eco Style. This personally makes me feel like I'm getting a sleeker look um, because it's thicker and it just holds my hair better. Again, if I were to just use the Eco Style Gel, I feel like it won't last as long. Like it'll hold it, but it won't last as long. So I just take that and again, going with that harder um, bristle brush and just comb up. And right behind that, when I feel like I've brushed enough with the hard bristle brush, I'll take the soft one and just go around it a little bit. All right, so now is where you come in with the headband. So I like to just wrap it twice, put it around my neck, and then slide it on up like this. And this obviously is not tight enough because you see my hair is still like flying everywhere. So I take it and then I pull it some more and wrap it around again like this. So you can stop here if you like that bigger poof look, but I want it a little tighter and a little of a smaller poof. So again, I'll pull that string and wrap it and make the poof smaller. Kind of like that. So now you're left with a pretty dry poof. I'll kind of pull in the front a little bit to like bring my poof up higher. But um, this is basically how that works. And then from here, a lot of people like to pick their puffs. I don't really like the pick look. I like to define my curls. So I'm going to take um, some Eco Style Gel and some this activator, and that's gonna help me get like the curls that I want. And then when it dries up, it'll dry defined, if that makes sense. So first, just gonna spray it with some water. And then I'm gonna take a decent amount of Eco Style on like the tips of my fingers and kind of play with my hair. This kind of takes a while. I just kind of play with it until I feel like I've gotten enough of this gel on it. Another product that I'll use to help define my curls is this Cream of Nature Pure Honey Shrinkage Defense. So I'm gonna take a decent amount of that as well and put that on my hair. Right behind that, I'll just keep adding water. And it's just kind of, again, another pattern, just water, edge, I mean, not edge stuff, uh, ego gel, and then I'll just go back and forth until I feel like I get the look that I want. Okay, so once I played around with it a little bit and felt like I got enough gel in there, um, right after that, I do my edges. So let me do that real quick. I don't do anything specific with my edges. I just kind of sneak them back. Um, I don't be doing swirls and loops and stuff like that. So hopefully that's not what you came here looking for. I just kind of take my edge brush and just kind of do little swoops, I guess you can say. And 
I also like to pull out a little bit of these side pieces. I don't think, I don't pull out enough for y'all to see, I don't think, so I don't think I can see it from here, but I just pull out a little bit to kind of frame my face. Some pulled out and I just wet them up a little bit. And that's basically how I do it. So I just did my edges. And again, they're really simple. I don't do a lot with my edges. Um, and for me personally, to get like the best results, I guess you can say, I like to put my scarf on and leave it on there for a few hours. Um, honestly, I like to leave it on while I sleep. So I'll do my hair the night before, sleep on it with the scarf on, and then it's so sleek and it's molded down and I love it. But um, sometimes you can't really do that, so you can leave it like this. It'll stay, it'll dry on its own, but if you have the time, I like to put a scarf on, tie it down real tight, and then that way my hair will stay longer. So if you're here for the puff video, here's the puff. But if you want to see kind of how I do a bun with it when I get tired of the puff or don't want it as big, stay tuned. So basically from here, if I want to do a bun, I just take a smaller hair tie. Um, I know a lot of people, they slip their hair up and they secure it with this and make it a bun from there. But for me to do a bun, because my hair is so thick, I have to do a puff and then make the puff into a bun. So it's a little complicated, but that's just what I found works for me. So we're gonna take the hair tie and just kinda tie it up and I'll show you how I do that. All right, so basically you're gonna take your hair tie and I kind of pull it up like this. If you get, can you see, can you tell? Hopefully. I pull it up like this and I don't wrap it around multiple times. I just kind of plop it on there like so and just kind of play with it. Oh no, no. Now I gotta try to find the hair tie y'all, hold on. Okay, anyway, you gotta kind of mess with it to get, get it how you want it. Like, there you go. That's how you do it, that's better. Okay. And then I'm gonna pull it up a little bit. And that's kind of how I do the bun. Can't really see. Like that. This is basically if you want a smaller look, you don't want quite the full bun. You just kind of take that hair tie, wrap it, wrap it or wrap it? You kind of take the hair tie, wrap it around once and kind of just start playing with it until you get the look that you want. This is kind of what I go for. And this is honestly kind of like you getting that top knot, if you will, but like cheating your way into it by just doing it after you do a high puff. You can do this if your curls are starting to get a little crazy or you don't feel like taking out your hair, just make it into a bun and then you kind of just play with it until you like it. All right, y'all, so that's basically how I do my high puff slash bun kind of style. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and took something from it. I know I've tried many ways to find what works for me, so hopefully you can find what works for you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.